Hello guys, welcome back to Movie Recap Zone. Nancy is a 60-year-old retired high school teacher and recently widowed. Nancy Stokes, which is not a real name, has never experienced an orgasm. She hires a sex worker named Leo Grande, played by Daryl McCormack, to help her learn to embrace pleasure for the first time in her life after having an unsatisfying married sex life and feeling like she's wasted her life trying to do things properly. Nancy experienced joy during their several sessions together that she was unable to experience with her husband at home. And to know how the story ends, watch till the end. Before we get into the storyline, don't forget to like and subscribe to get more movie recaps like this. The movie is divided into four different meetings, and each one has its own rhythm and pace. Leo joins Nancy in the posh hotel room that she has rented. When Leo Grande visits Nancy in her hotel room, he inquires about her favourite fantasy. To have hugging? With you? Do you mind? She answers, racked with nerves. The retired teacher is unable to clearly state what she hopes to get out of their meetings. Leo is essentially Nancy's polar opposite. Leo has always been more open and willing to embrace his sexuality, whereas Nancy has been sexually repressed and judgmental for a long time. At first, Nancy doesn't understand. She questions his lack of moral hesitation about working in the field he does. She questions how he could desire to have a sexual relationship with some clients, including her. But he patiently bears Nancy's uncertainties and questions. Leo aids her in unwinding. He shows her pleasure. He talks to her about his customers and how much he enjoys what he does. Nancy discussed her grown children's lives as well as her previous position as a religious education teacher. Leo also revealed information about his life, such as the fact that his mother thought he worked on an oil rig. Leo doesn't feel ashamed about his job, despite keeping his family in the dark about his real job. He views it as a necessary service and helps Nancy feel less embarrassed about hiring him. Nancy told him that her husband, who passed away two years ago, was the only partner she hugged, and that their life together has been incredibly unfulfilling. Her husband had never permitted her to have hugging relations with little fantasies because he believed it would be demeaning to her. Nancy has never felt fulfilled in her life just pretending for her husband. Nancy is also ashamed of her age and outward appearance. Nancy recounts the most sensual experiences she had as a teenager. When Nancy was on a family vacation to Greece, a hotel employee became attracted to her. When they were alone in the hotel garden, she started to give him a hug before being interrupted and running away. Seeing Nancy so relaxed with her own story, Leo hugged her. Throughout their time together, Nancy becomes a little more understanding of Leo's line of work and Nancy grows a little more tolerant of her own body over the course of their relationship. Nancy had a second session with Leo in the same room a week later, feeling content but not entirely happy. For the second session, she makes a list of hugging activities her husband never wanted to try, and Leo happily agrees to help her check off the items. Nancy was concerned about Leo though. Her nerves are made worse by a phone call from her daughter, who has been overly dependent on Nancy since her father's passing. Because of this, Leo invites her to dance and massage. Leo told Nancy that her body is good. Leo tells her not to become obsessed with checking everything off her to-do list in one sitting. To relieve the pressure Nancy was placing on herself to perform, he advised her to schedule more sessions. Nancy was offended by this and accused him of exploiting her for financial gain. When she inquires about why he does this work, Leo responds that he gets genuine pleasure from seeing his clients happy regardless of who they are or what they prefer. As he described his work, she ended up hugging him. Nancy booked Leo for a third session in the same room. The third meeting between Nancy and Leo is going well. They have gotten along well and have accomplished quite a few things from Nancy's list. They have even opened up a bit about their personal lives. Curious to know more, Nancy crosses the line when she conducts research to learn that Leo's real name is Connor. She goes further to suggest that they could meet outside their sessions and even be friends. Leo is upset by Nancy's invasion of his privacy. Leo gets dressed and tells Nancy to never book him again, threatening to reveal him as a client if she tries to contact his family or disclose his personal information to anyone else. He finally shares the information about his mother with Nancy after she has been pressing him for more details. When Nancy asks him what he did to his mom, he's even angrier that she would make assumptions. Leo acknowledges that his mother abandoned him when he was 15 out of disgust with who he is and tells people he's dead. Leo then tells her to stop judging him. He says she doesn't care about the truth of his life. She only wanted someone exotic and broken, and now she's found him. He then storms out of the room. 
Later, Nancy scheduled the fourth session with Leo, but she planned to meet him in the hotel cafe first, so she could express her regret for overstepping and say goodbye. Leo says he's told his brother about his job. He claims that his brother already knew what he did. His mother still avoids mentioning him. Nancy owns up to her actions and says her real name is Susan Robinson. She expresses gratitude to Leo for giving her a sense of self-assurance and has given his name to several women in her social circle who she feels could use his services just as much as she does. Leo then revealed that his mother disowned him because she discovered him and some of his friends having group relations when he was a teenager. His mother still wouldn't acknowledge his existence, even walking past him when they'd just met in public. They're interrupted by a waitress named Becky, who turns out to be one of Nancy's former students. She tells a story about how Nancy called her and her friends sluts, and punished them for wearing short skirts to school. Nancy realises she should be prouder and more loving of her own children. She then calls their waitress, Becky Foster. She apologises for calling Becky and the other girls sluts. She introduces Leo to Becky as a sex worker and tells Becky that she has discovered that pleasure is a wonderful thing. Then Nancy invites Leo to a final performance in their hotel room upstairs where they passionately perform every hugging act left on Nancy's list. Nancy still hasn't arrived at the pleasure while Leo searches for the toys he brought to help. Nancy watches him walk while giving herself her first pleasure. When Leo leaves the next morning, Nancy thanks him and tells him that this will be their final session because she doesn't need him any longer. The movie ends with Nancy alone in a hotel room and touching her own body.